Hey y'all, Jazz Creations Art Sanity here, and today I'm going to be making a witch's cauldron uh, for my Halloween decorations outside. So here's all the supplies that I'll be using. Um, I actually told my husband that I wanted to do this project, and he surprised me by taking the kids and going to get some supplies. So I think everything came from um, Home Depot. I will double check on that and I'll have everything listed in the description below. So to start with, we're going to put some feet on the bottom of our cauldron here. Now this is just a plastic uh, flower pot. We've got three drawer handle knobs here that I've evenly placed around the bottom. And we're going to pre-drill the holes for um, the screws for these knobs. Now, the screws that come with the knobs, they're too big. You'll see that here in just a second. We try one out and clearly the screw is too long. So my husband does cut down these screws with his Dremel. So here you can see it's clearly too long. So he'll cut down the screws a little bit with his Dremel. And then we're just going to add a washer and screw them back on. And they're going to fit nice and tight. So here I'll get the last little foot on there and then um, we're going to move on to the handles. Now I've already put one handle on here. So the other handle here, I use my hot glue gun to temporarily stick it on um, my pot here. And then you're going to see I'm going to wiggle that off and the glue is going to stay on and that just gives me a little marker to know where to drill my holes to screw on the handle. Again, these screws were too big so he had to cut these down as well and we're just going to add a washer and get them secured on the side here. I did not measure my handles. I just, I put one on and then kind of eyeballed for the second one here. So now that our handles are on nice and tight, the feet are on nice and tight, um, I'm going to spray paint this black. So 
So I tried taking off the sticker. Um, yeah, I decided what was the point? Nobody's going to see the bottom anyway. So I'm going to give this two coats of this black, of course, letting them dry in between each coat. Yes, those are bugs flying around. We're, it's dark out. Um, we're doing this in our shop at night. And of course, having the doors open with spray painting here. And so, yeah, the moths and everything were flying, flying in and out and around. So, like I said, I gave the outside two coats of the black. Um... Now the inside here, all I did, you can see that little lip there, I only painted around that because the inside is pretty much going to be full. So all I did was take the black and paint around the rim and then that little lip there. So now I'm pouring in some sand just to give it some weight um, so it doesn't blow away. Now I do wish that I either put in more sand or added some rock on top of the sand just to give it this pot more of a filler before using the expanding foam here um because i ended up using about six and a half cans of this foam so i wish i would have had a little bit more filler in there to so i didn't have to use as much foam and also the first, I think it was three cans that I put in, um, I did not wait for them to set up before I put the other in. I just did like one right on top of the other. I probably shouldn't have done that. Um, I should have waited, you know, 10, 15 minutes for each layer to kind of expand up and dry before adding more on it. So that's what I ended up doing the last um, two, three cans. Um, I waited for it to dry and it was only about, probably about 15 minutes I waited in between. So now here I'm kind of like figuring out how like this potion is going to bubble over this cauldron here so that's what I'm doing now with this the, with the foam and my husband's going to come in here this was a hot mess y'all <laughs> and you should I should be wearing gloves while working with this stuff um yeah I had it all over the place but my husband's going to tilt this up for me, which makes it a lot easier for me to try to get that drizzle look of potion coming over the side here. And so I'm just going to keep working with that until I get it how I like it. And then I will let that dry and I've got one more can after this here that you'll see I'll come in and just kind of finish filling up that cauldron
So this is my last can here and I'm just going to finish filling up this cauldron and I'm going to kind of touch up my bubble over section. And then I'm going to let this completely dry before coming back in to um, paint it. So here I'm using some um, fluorescent green and just going around um, trying to stay off the rim of the cauldron. Just get, I'm trying just to get the foam. Um, so my husband's holding a little cardboard around. So trying to stay off the rim of the cauldron and just going to paint this uh, the foam part, this green here, I do give it two coats. And I'm pretty heavy handed on each coat. So once I get both coats of the green on, um, letting it dry, I will come back with some glow in the dark, which is this right here. And I do give this uh, two coats, but you know, at the, at the end of the day here, um, I it really doesn't matter about this because of how we ended up setting it up in the yard. It really doesn't glow uh, because we had to add a light so I really didn't need to do this step I guess but I do wish I had after this um, I do wish I had come in here with just some clear coat spray and just sealed everything in um, I didn't do that but I do wish I did so I'll just have to touch it up here at the end of the season or beginning of next and um, make sure that I seal it all in. So I will let this dry and then I'll come back. Um, I'll show you some pictures of it um, done and then how we set it up in the yard. So here it is done. Here is the glow in the dark part. Um, and here it is set up in the yard with our witches. We did end up putting some orange lights on the bottom underneath, kind of looking like fire. Um, yeah, really happy with how this come out. It's super cute. Um, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this. And until next time, see ya.